To her considerable credit, country singer Miranda Lambert has been outspoken about caring for animals. She calls herself an animal activist. We wish more celebrities would speak up and take action on behalf of those who cannot speak for themselves. But why then does Miranda Lambert perform at rodeos? In particular, we must ask why Ms. Lambert is scheduled to perform at the 2010 Cheyenne Frontier Days, an especially cruel rodeo where animals are hurt and killed. The Cheyenne Frontier Days rodeo is especially cruel for a number of reasons. First, there is steer busting, an event that is held in only a handful of states because the indefensible brutality injures and even kills many victims. Second, the Cheyenne Rodeo allows cruel, dangerous, and supposedly banned calf jerkdowns. A jerkdown occurs when a calf is roped straight over backwards. This very violent and intentional clotheslining can easily break a calf's neck, back, or legs, can cause a collapsed windpipe and other internal injuries. In just one performance a couple years ago, shark investigators documented four calves hauled out of the arena. While others limped out under their own power. Add to that, the Cheyenne Rodeo includes the disingenuously named Wild Horse Race, although these are not wild horses at all. While the horses abused in this event may look wild, the reason they're acting this way is that they're purposely terrorized and then jumped and dominated. Rodeo organizers actually set off explosions to keep these young horses as fearful as possible during the so-called show. In 2009, Cheyenne Frontier Days organizers claimed that only seven animals received veterinary care. That may be true, but Shark's video cameras documented dozens of animals injured. So what happened to the rest of the victims? Rodeo organizers won't say. We know that this victim, Strawberry Fudge, was killed. But the fate of this victim, Cajun Katie, who was also hauled out of the arena, is unknown. Other horses, as well as calves and steers, were brutalized, injured, and some were killed. Some very compassionate musicians have already taken a stand on rodeo animal abuse, Ricky Rocket of the rock group Poison openly stated he will not play at rodeos because of animal abuse. In 2008, Rob Thomas and his group Matchbox 20 withdrew, also citing concerns for rodeo animals. Miranda, the suffering of a dog or a cat is the same as the suffering of a horse or a cow. But don't take my word for it, just look at the evidence. I think you will find in the end, when you look deep into your heart, that you know animals should not be treated this way. At the very least, please talk to Cheyenne rodeo organizers about the worst abuses, the steer busting, the jerk downs, the wild horse race. Miranda, we're looking forward to your response. We hope you will open your heart to all animals. This is Steve Hindi for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.